Welcome to the homework for third grade, module one, lesson nine. Write your name to that first. Um, we've been working on the uh, commutative property of multiplication. We order the factors doesn't matter. You always get the same product. Uh, and we're sneaking our way into the distributive property of multiplication where you can uh, add different products together by combining factors. So we're going to look at this. So you, we're going to use arrays to do it. There's going to be a lot of explaining in this one. Uh, but uh, I try to keep these short. So if I'm rushing it or there's an explanation that doesn't, it goes a little too fast for you, go back and watch it again. No one will know. And uh, well, you can also feel free to skip ahead as well. Dan organizes number one. Here, Dan organizes his stickers into three rows of four. There's the array for it right here. Uh, Irene, oh, Dan has three rows of four, so that's these are Dan's. And Irene adds two more rows of stickers. These are hers. I'm going to label them. Complete the equations to describe the total number of stickers in the array. So here we have four plus four plus four. That's three rows of four, right? Those are Dan's stickers and these two rows of four these two fours here are Irene's stickers so those are hers just to keep track so we know what we're counting and all those fours together we could count them all uh, but you might know that there's one two five fours is 20 you might know that but you, if you counted them all you could get it uh, you could also count the columns and get five ten 15, 20, counting by fives instead of counting by fours is easier. Three fours, that's those three fours, plus this is how many fours? Two fours is how many fours? Well, just count them all. There's one, two, three, four. There's five fours. So that also means that five fours equals, we already figured it out, five fours is... 20. Number 2. We have 7 times 2 equals something. And we could count and just write down the answer. But this is more about the way a way to look at it. So we can look at this array here as a 6 times 2 array and we can add on because we in our last homework we were practicing adding on to arrays adding extra rows onto arrays and this is just kind of the same thing but looking at it as 6 times 2 first then adding another row so this 6 times 2 is 2 4 6 8 10 12 that's 12 and 1 2 is just 2 and so you see here 12 plus 2 that's this 12 and that's that 2 12 plus 2 is 14. It's how many there are, how many little ovals there are in the whole array. And now we're going to look at something times 2 equals 14. That's just how many rows of 2 are there. Right? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows of 2. 7 rows of 2 is 14. Because that's 6 rows of 2 plus 1 row of 2 is 7 rows of 2. Now I'm going to write the 14 in up here. <clears throat> now you can also subtract rows. So sometimes you get a really easy number to work with, like 10, or you get 9, which is really close to 10. And it's sometimes easier to think of 10 first and then take away an extra row. And then it's easier than counting everything. So here we're looking at 9 times 3, but we're doing it by starting with 10 times 3, right? Because this is t this whole thing together is 10 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 rows of 3 is 30. You can count it by 3's, but it's easier to count the columns and count by 10's to get to 30. And this is just one row of 3 is 3. I know we're not counting it twice. We're not adding it on like we did with the, with, uh, the one in number 2. We're going to subtract it. So here's the 30, that's the whole array, and we're going to subtract one row, which is 3. And what's 30 minus 3? It's 27. 
and this we started out with 10 rows of 3. We subtracted one row of 3. So what's 10 minus 1? It's 9. That gets us 9 rows of 3 for 27. And we can put the 27 up here. Page 2. Franklin collects stickers. He organizes his stickers in five rows of four. Draw an array. Okay, so we have for A here, we've got an A and a B. We've got to draw an array to represent his stickers. Use an X to show each sticker. So we need five rows of four. Uh, that's, I'm going to start with one row of four. One, two, three, four. I need five of these. Three rows, four rows, five rows of four. Okay, done with A. B. Solve the equation to find Franklin's total number of stickers. Five times four equals. So we're just gonna we could just count them all, right? It, uh, you could count by if you're gonna count by fours. Um, it's a little bit harder than counting by five. So if you count the columns, you get five, ten, fifteen, twenty. If you're going to skip count to get them, twenty. If you count by fours, it's a little bit trickier. Uh, we're not used to counting by fours. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. If you count the rows, Franklin has. stickers. Now part five. Franklin adds two more rows. Use circles to show his new stickers. So I'm going to add two more rows. Circles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Uh, write and solve an equation to represent the circles. The circles we added to the array. So it's only these the ones we just added. And that's two rows of four. So it's two rows of four equals eight stickers that he added. And let's keep going. We've got B. Complete the equation to show how you add the totals of two multiplication facts to find Franklin's total number of stickers. So we're adding the totals of two multiplication facts. And those two totals are the 2 times 4 equals 8. And up here, it was the 5 times 4 equals 20. So those are the two totals they're talking about. The two totals, the totals of two multiplication facts. We had the 20 first, and then the 8. 20 plus 8 equals 28. And then finally, C, complete the unknown. This is the unknown to show Franklin's total number of stickers. How many fours is it? You can go back and just count how many fours was it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fours. Seven fours. And we could also think of it as the first five fours, and then, right, that's five, five fours, five rows, and that's two more rows, or seven rows. You could do it that way, too.